Hello there. Good afternoon, everybody. It's Jane. Hope everybody's doing well today. Happy Monday. I have got a fun little craft here using the Iron Orchid paint inlays. I'm just waiting for my link for my text group, which will pop up any minute. If you're not in my text group, please join. Of course, I don't have the number in front of me right now, but you can um, go on to my YouTube channel and under the in the description of every single one of my videos is my text number. And I'll let you know when I go live, um, when something is back in stock, new blog post, you know, good stuff like that. And I won't, you know, take over your, your, in your phone. All right, here is the link, send that out, and off it goes. So you guys, I was, close my computer, um, after doing this really beautiful, all the iron orchid molds are so beautiful, little project, I was thinking about it and I wanted to do something with the paint inlays. So starting with this, move this over I decided I made all these molds if you remember with the rosettes mold um, which is a really really useful mold you guys especially for you furniture painters because these look beautiful on furniture and for knobs say you have a boring knob and you want to um, you know put something behind it like a back plate. Hey, Amanda, thanks for joining me. Good afternoon. Um, when your mold is still wet, what you would do is put a hole in it, um, glue it, right, to the draw or the door with the hole coming through. And when it's all dry, you know, paint your draw, do your thing, you put your knob through it. Hey, Lupita. Hey, we are we're gonna be doing some iron orchid paint inlays. So so hold on to your hat. <laughs> hold on to your cowboy hat. <clears throat> when I think of Deep South Texas, I think of cowboy hats and cowboys. And I bet there's some really good Tex Mex and Mexican food. Oh, I lived out in California, Lupita, and that's what I miss is the really, really, I'm in Connecticut now, and there's a couple of places that have really authentic Mexican food, but I have to drive to get to them. So anyway, the rosettes mold, as I was saying, make great little back plates for knobs, all kinds of things. They're just one of the most um, versatile of the molds. So what I wanna show you guys today is how to use the, um, this one's called Indigo Floral, right? So this is the Indigo Floral Paint Inlay. I have not used this one until now. And I'm thinking, you know, it's it's just about summer here. I know for Lupita, it's probably very, very warm. And I know you said it was really warm last, last week. But we're just about, um, I think Wednesday, it's going to get to 80 here in Connecticut. And I love blue and white together. I love it as a summer kind of palette. It's very fresh, very cooling. Oh, Lupita, Lupita's saying she hasn't used the paint inlays. They are one of my favorite things to use. I, I love them. I've used them all over. You know, you'll see when I do my sewing room, God help me, I'm trying to organize that. Um, but I paint inlaid a lot of different things up there. So anyway, I, I love this for summer and that's what was my inspiration. So the first thing I want to show you is how to use the paint inlays because a lot of people ask me about this. So I've got some in stages so you won't have to wait for anything to dry. First thing you're going to do, right, is I have a little board here. I put my base coat of white. This is chalk paint. Whoa, Lupita's saying it's 95 degrees. Holy cow. I bet it feels like 105. 
anything for me after 80 and I'm like, okay, I've got to get in some place cool, get in the shade, right? Oh, Lupita, I hope you're able to stay cool. Um, you're going to paint your board, let it dry, one coat, okay? So that's what this is. This is just a classic white chalk-based paint, okay? Actually, it's clay. <laughs> so clay is fine. Chalk is fine. I have used it with Amy Howard's One Step Paint, which is a chalk-based paint, but it has a built-in top coat. And I've used these inlays in milk paint. And if you go to Surface Anthology on YouTube, you'll see all the different ways I've used the paint inlays. And I've gotten them to work in all of that. And then there are other people who are putting them into all kinds of things. So um, I have found chalk, pa uh, chalk paints and milk paint work really, really well. All right, now we have to apply our second coat, and this is the coat that the paint inlay goes into. So I'm gonna grab my brush, my white paint, and I'm just gonna grab my towel. Oh, before I do that, hang on a second. Hold your horses. We have to cut out the paint inlay that we're gonna be putting on the board. So here's the page. Oh, and Amanda's saying it's 50s and raining in Southwest Washington. Ugh, I, but you know what, Amanda, I have to tell you, uh, we, have a, we have a fireplace, a wood-burning fireplace in our living room, and then up here in kind of our bonus room that I'm using as my studio, we have a little um, wood stove, and on a day like that, I make a fire because it, does, it that gets raw. So these are the pages, okay? These are the pages that you get. I'm gonna show you one that I haven't cut up yet because there's something really important that you have to start with. And I've learned this the hard way. The very first thing you're going to do with these pages is you're gonna cut off this little margin all the way around because we tend to line up the edge with an edge. And if you line up this edge, right, the paper edge, you're not gonna have the paint inlay edge against your piece. So grab your scissors when you get these. And I have a kit, if you guys are interested, that I think it's under $30 where you get a page. So you don't have to commit to the entire book of inlays and it's a virtual workshop and you get a board and paint and you can experiment without, you know, stressing out and investing in the whole book. Okay, so I'm just cutting and a rotary cutter and a um, ruler work really well for this. See, I take off this little piece here and then I've got the nice raw edge to line up to my piece, my project. All right, so that's gonna be the first thing that you do. Then, before you put your second coat on, you're gonna take your piece where your inlay is going to go, and you're gonna kind of plan, you know, where what part of the inlay do you want on it? All right, I'm looking at this like this big flower here might look really beautiful. And I think that's what I'm gonna do. So now this is the right side, okay? The bright part. The wrong side has the little dots. I'm gonna put it right side down, line up the edges. And then what I do is I just crease around the piece, so this is how I know what I'm gonna cut. I just crease it like this, right? So you see that line, and that one is where I'm gonna cut.
right, and I cut out my pieces that I'm gonna use. Some people just put their second coat of paint on and take the whole sheet, put it down, you know, and then lift it off, right? They don't cut it out. Um, you can do that too. I like this, it's a little bit neater, a little more organized. All right, so now we've got our piece, and remember, this is really, really important, it has to go right side down, right? So we wanna see those, those little grid lines facing up. All right, and I'm gonna put on a generous coat of white chalk paint. And people are putting these inlays on walls. There's one um, of a woman, I think it's Queen of the Nile, it's called. I used to, I was a hairdresser and a makeup artist, and I had a salon um, when I was out in California. And I would have put this giant Queen of the Nile in the changing room in a second. It's so beautiful. All right, so. I've got my nice coat of paint on here. Get any blobs. Put my brush in water. Don't let that dry. And then we just put this, remember, right side down and right into the paint it goes. Okay, and I'm smoothing it kind of from the center out, and then I'm gonna take my little misting bottle, I love these misting bottles, and I'm just gonna give it a little mist. And I've got my, this is a brayer, and I'm just gonna very kind of lightly, again, smooth this over, kind of from the inside out. All right, now, I let mine dry for about an hour. I have left them overnight to dry. That, that's worked really, really well. So I'm gonna put this aside to dry, and I've got one that I did. Now it's probably been about an hour and a half. So here's the, this is what the dried inlay looks like on there, right? Here's the wet inlay, here's the dry. And I'm going to take off the inlay now. Let me, I don't want to wet my whole book here. So I'm going to take my Mr. Bottle again, and I'm going to give this a spray. And then we're going to wait about 30 seconds because the water is what's going to loosen this up. And I'm just spreading that around. <laughs> Let that soak into the paper. All right. And then you're just going to pick a corner. I hope this has been about 30 seconds. And see how it starts to come up, right? And you just pull it back. How gorgeous is that? And there's the paint inlay, right? Beautiful, um, crisp image. And let me just move this. You can use these over, by the way. So let them dry. You can use them again. And I wanted to show you the texture this, this is really smooth. When I first started using these, I really put on like a ton, ton, ton of paint. You saw me do the one that we just put the inlay on. I, I would just put on a generous coat of paint as if you were painting a piece of furniture and you get a really, really smooth um, surface and a really nice 
image. So that's it, you guys. That's how you use the inlays. And now what I wanted to do is just show you guys. I'm actually going to dry this one now so I don't smudge this indigo color. Right, look at how pretty they almost look like tile right they're really beautiful but what I wanted to do now was put these molds the rosette molds on these kind of as a design element look at how beautiful we've got the blue and the white and these little molds, right? And how beautiful is that? You can make little pieces of art like this, hang these up, right? Either vertically or um, horizontally. Thank you, Amanda. Aren't they pretty? I mean, and easy. This was really, really easy. I think there's a lot of people who are intimidated by the paint inlays. Don't be. Um, if you are, again, I have a kit. You could go to chalkmercantile.com and you just look under virtual workshops. Um, I'm going to make this one a kit and you'll get three of these little boards, one entire sheet of the paint inlay and some molds that I'll pre-make, all right? And this way you could kind of experiment and I may do these for different designs, but then you have your own like little decoration and um, you could even lean these. I had them, um, the other ones that I made the other day, I have them leaning and they're just so pretty. The molds are really beautiful. But this is a way for you to kind of get used to the paint inlays if you're curious at all and not be intimidated. It's really, really easy. The other thing you can do is I stuck with the blue and white because I'm thinking about, you know, these white molds and keeping it very fresh for the summer, but you can use another color underneath the indigo and really get some rich looking um, images, right? Clean and fresh, Barb, right? Barb, how are you doing? How are you feeling? It is, it's clean and fresh. And it's kind of like um, when it's really, really hot here and humid in, in Connecticut in the summer, I love seeing white hydrangea. It just feels fresh and all that heat. And I'm hoping this will have the same effect <laughs> this summer. But you can put a beautiful, um, a coral color, a red or an orange. Orange is the opposite of blue. So that would be a really dynamic, kind of exciting look. With this um, indigo, you could you uh, put a very pale blue paint under this indigo um, inlay and create kind of a monochromatic look, you know? And with the molds, remember, you can paint these. So um, once they're dry, I paint these when they're dry. And I'll tell you why. If you paint them when they're wet, you could kind of rough up the um, the shape of the mold, right? And I want to keep it super crisp. Getting Barb's getting stronger. Oh, you're having a little pain in your arm. I've been thinking about you, Barb. Barb had neck surgery, but she's doing well. That's that is fabulous news. Um, but you guys, if you have any questions about the paint inlay, if you've made anything. Make sure you join us over in the Painted Cottage Facebook group and show it off. Show us what you're making. Show everybody um, what you've created. We've got a couple of workshops going on now. Tammy of uh, Flippin' Furniture just did one on that beautiful um, barn dresser. I was in that. I took it. I learned a lot. 
And now Joni of Weathered Wings is doing a beautiful um, art piece, a bicycle, a close-up of a bicycle, the handles, the basket, just filled with like summer flowers. So um, that's one you can take also. Oh, Barb, <laughs> thank you. I, you know, when somebody tells me, I know, I've had, you know, me with my dental issues, some other things. I remember I had a C-section when I had my twins and then my third son, as hard as I tried to not. And I just remember recovering from surgery and, you know, the doctors make it seem like, oh, you're gonna just tap up and everything's gonna be great in, you know, two days. No, it's not. So Barb, I, I just, um, I know. And the neck, you know, we're so used to quickly, you know, looking around and turning. We take that for granted. So I'm, I'm wishing you a very, very, very quick recovery. And it looks like you're on that road. So anyway, you guys, thank you so much, Barb. Thanks for watching, Amanda, Lupita. Thanks for joining me. Any questions about paint inlays, please ask. Don't be shy and um, give it a try, why not? I'm gonna be doing a big piece of furniture, <laughs> so hold on to your hats with the paint inlays. I'm really excited, and I'll be sure to post all about it. Um, so guys, thanks for joining me. Happy painting, and have a great Monday. I'm gonna try to be back here on Wednesday for my next little tutorial, so um, I'll be sending out a text to you guys.